All right, so I had a really hard time remembering to write to the audience when I was writing documentation or even tickets, especially tickets probably. Um, and so when I uh, really wrote down this idea of what, who my audience was for the different parts of the documentation that I was writing, and I shared it at work and people seemed to like it there, so I thought maybe y'all would like it too. Um, so uh, these points most people here probably kind of already think about because Perl documentation is super nice and I haven't found anybody else that does really as good a job, especially having all of these audiences in mind. Um, the first one here of course is marketing and that's what goes on the web page, probably in the description of your pod and that kind of describes why people should use your software and it's not targeted at people who are not yet using it and it explains why, why, are you gonna, why would you want to use this particular thing? Um, then of course there's the people that have decided now they're going to use it and the first thing you have to do is the new people, the people that haven't used your software before, make sure that they know how to use it and that kind of comes in the synopsis and that's you know, a general introduction of how, how do you get started with this? And then after somebody's been using it for a while they really want to dig into the guts and you don't want them to actually dig into the guts of your module if they're just going to use it. Uh, so make sure you have a reference, and that's of course documenting all the mo all the methods and attributes and all of the other stuff that are parts of your module. And then the last person that I think is the really the target audience for when you're documenting things are the different developers who are going to be using your different your module, and all of that uh, uh, documentation for them is probably maybe somewhere in a uh, contributing documentation document or something, but also. Uh, in code comments and things like that so that when they go to make mo uh, changes to your module they can find it or they can figure out how to do that and why you did things and hopefully make it easier for everybody and so that they don't have to ask you why you did stuff and how to do stuff and stuff like that. That was it.